Welcome back to the couch at DCTV for another episode of In the Studio. Uh, I'm your host for today, Issa Sheikh. Uh, uh, there's been a push in Davis recently to get the city a new design flag. One of the organizers of that effort is Aiden Ramey, and he joins us today. Thank you very much for having me, Issa. Thanks, Aiden. Uh, let's start out with your background. Um, where are you from, and how long have you been in Davis? Uh, I originally grew up in the Los Angeles area, and I've been in Davis. This is my third year now. I'm a junior at UC Davis. So you came here because of the UC? Yes. Uh, Davis has sort of been in my family for a long time. Uh, lots of my family are farmers in the Fresno area, so they all came to UC Davis. So it sort of made sense for me to come here as well. So um, for viewers who don't know, what, what is your project? Well, our project is to give the city a symbol that they can be proud of. Um, this uh, project was started by and for the community. Uh, we wanted to get community um, submissions. We got people from high school students to a guy living in Davis for over 70 years to design a flag that we can all proudly rally behind. Yeah, so um, your project is to give the city a flag. Where did the inspiration for this project come from? Well, I watched a TED Talk about flag design, uh, specifically city flag design. And at the end of it, uh, the speaker gave a little call to action. And he said, if your city doesn't have a city flag, maybe work to change that. And I was inspired by that. And ever since I've come to Davis, I've absolutely fell in love with the city. And I decided, why not give it a go? And I've been having a blast ever since. Yeah, so what is the significance of, um, of a city having a flag? Well, uh, a city having a flag is the best way for the residents to show their civic pride. A, civic, a city flag can display a powerful and complex message uh, easily recognizable from a distance. And uh, the cities that have the uh, well-designed flags uh, are proud of it, and they proudly fly it. And we believe Davis uh, needs such a flag. Yeah, so when you watched this TED Talk, you were inspired. What were your first steps? What did you first think of doing? Um, well, the first step uh, was to get some help. I consider myself artistically challenged. So um, I went out to some uh, design students at UC Davis and pitched them the idea. And uh, started out with five initial designs uh, from UC Davis design students. And uh, just so we could sort of get people interested in the idea, and then we said, um, we want people to submit your own ideas. And uh, so we got lots of submissions from the community. And um, yeah, that's how it started. Yeah, so um, other than just getting submissions from the community, have you reached out to Davis residents to the community? How have you tried to um, get their support? Uh, we've uh, been doing so much over the past year and a half. Uh, so we've been tabling at the farmer's market, uh, tabling downtown. I've spoken at uh, four local schools in Davis, uh, uh, Da Vinci, uh, Willett, um, DHS, and King. Um, I've spoken at multiple city council meetings. I've been uh, at events with police officers and firefighters. Um, just any Davis public event, um, members of our organization try to show up to uh, show that we're proud to be part of the city. and. Um, we would like uh, people to uh, support the project. Yeah, so when you're at the farmer's market, when you're at um, a high school, what's the kind of reaction do you get? Uh, overwhelmingly positive. Um, uh, at the uh, at Willett Elementary, there was a, a young man who, um, I spoke to around 66 graders there, and he came to me um, after, uh, after I spoke and very seriously said, I want you to promise to come back here once this project is successful. And it totally made my month. And um, uh, so it's been overwhelmingly positive, um, you know, because this whole project is out of love for the city, you know. And um, people are excited by it. And, you know, getting to wave, your, uh, wave a flag and say, you know, I love Davis, or I'm, I'm proud to live here, that's something that, you know, a lot of people can really easily get behind. Yeah, um, so this is, it's not just a community effort, it's a political effort, right? Because you'd have to have the city government agree to this. Um, how have your interactions with city government gone? Uh, they've been going pretty well. Um, I've spoken at two city council meetings. Uh, we do have uh, uh, support on the city council. Um, 
We have two city councilors that are, are on our side, but you know can't quite publicly um, endorse it yet. And um, we're hoping with uh, b by the end of the year um, is sort of our goal to get the flag officially recognized um, with uh, a couple on our side, and hopefully soon to be more. Uh, we think that task is. Have um, any votes been held? Has any votes? Yeah. Uh, yes. So um, last uh, last year, back when we had around a thousand votes from the community, um, the city council uh, this uh, this project stirred a lot of uh, interest about flags, and uh, the city council decided um, that hey, you know, city of Davis does need a flag. And they decided to implement uh, an old city logo as the uh, city flag. Um, and uh, we talked to them and said, you know, hey, we're doing this project. We think um, maybe one of our designs uh, should be uh, the city flag. And the mayor said, um, it's, a, it's a great idea. It's a great project. But you don't quite have uh, the support yet. Um, so uh, don't view this as uh, a time to give up. Don't quit. Uh, we want you to keep going. We want you to keep working. And um, that's what we've been doing um, since, um, since then. We've tripled the amount of votes we have from uh, the community, over 3,000 now. We've had uh, so many public outreach events. And um, so we're getting more and more public support every day. And uh, we do believe that next time that we do um, really start that push to the city council, it will get recognized. Yeah, so moving on, you want something to happen by the end of the year. What are you doing to work with um, the city council, with the city government? Um, so uh, I'm having semi-regular meetings with city council uh, members. I uh, uh, talked to Mayor uh, Brett Lee yesterday and I'm sort of talking to them and asking, you know, what, what would you like uh, to see from the project? You know, how can we get your official support? And um, so right now what we're working on is uh, the arts community and um, organizational support. Uh, they agree that we have uh, public support. You know, we, uh, with over 3,000, that's more people that have vote, uh, than voted for uh, city council members. So um, we have a large amount of support, but they want to see um, Davis institutions and um, things like that to show their support. And that's what we're working on. Um, we spoke at the Davis Odd Fellows and got some lots of support from them, um, getting uh, starting to get support from uh, members of the art community. Um, and um, that is our uh, plan of action moving forward. Yeah, so looking at the flag itself, you, you've described a lot of symbols and significances. Could you just tell us about some of the symbols you decided to put into this flag? Uh, well, I think it's, uh, I'm sure you could guess, the first obvious one is bicycle. Um, you know, with the Bicycling Hall of Fame, uh, with the safest biking city in the country, um, it is necessary that the flag uh, has some sort of um, uh, bicycle uh, representation on it. Um, and then with all the different uh, submissions we got, each one highlighted different things, you know, some focused uh, more on our agricultural roots, you know, with our amazing farmer's market and all the local farms around, you know, you saw flags with greens and um, yellows um, really emphasizing that. Uh, you saw some more flags that uh, with the university colors, you know, that obviously there's a strong connection between the university and the city. Um, you saw um, so many different great ideas from residents um, with uh, the various symbols. Because you know, a powerful flag should have uh, lots of symbolism behind it. Um, and that is um, what the flag uh, should have. Yeah. Um, so let's just imagine I'm a Davis resident. Mm -hmm. And I'm reluctant to support your flag. Um, I think it looks too much like my Rotary Club flag. I think it's too UC Davis centric. How do you convince me that? Um, that I should support having this flag throughout the city? Um, so, the uh, to UC Davis centric, um, the, I think it's unfortunate that sometimes there is this divide between the university and the city. Uh, Councilwoman Partita agrees with me on that. And this flag is, uh, I think, one of the great things about the design that we have chosen is with the university colors on it, 
uh, it really can help to mend that relationship. You know, the the you know if you talk to business owners downtown, um, you'll see so many we support uh, UC Davis student signs in their uh, buildings because. Um, Young people in the university, you know, they want to go out to eat. They want to go to the art stores. They want to go to the music stores. You know, they want to spend their money in these great local shops. And because, I mean, to be frank, the city wouldn't be what it is today without the university. And um, the reason why it's one of the most educated cities is because we have this amazing institution right here. And I don't, uh, you know, some people view that as a negative, and I think we should be celebrating that. We should be proud that we have this fantastic university. Um, in terms of the Rotary Club, uh, I'm not familiar with the Rotary Club symbol, um, but the bicycle wheel um, on the design uh, has uh, multiple meanings, uh, one for the bicycle wheel, and also since it is a half bicycle wheel, um, it does make a, a D for Davis. So um, it really has lots of symbols packed into this one flag, which a good flag should. Yeah, but going back to um, convincing reluctant, I know your, your uh, majority of your response has been positive, mm -hmm. um, but when you do encounter a negative response, when you see somebody reluctant to see this change when they're totally fine with the penny farthing flag, mm -hmm. um, what is your main argument to um, convince our viewers? Well, m our main argument is uh, if it was a good flag, it would be flown. And I, I, I talk to people, you know, reluctant about changing it, the current flag, do you see it flown anywhere? I've never seen it flown downtown. I've never seen it on a patch. I've never seen stickers of it. I've never seen it on coffee cups. Uh, you know, if you talk to, when people come talk to me when I'm tabling downtown, and I say that we already have a city flag, people are surprised. We have a city flag. And that is a failure. Uh, that means the, uh, the flag has failed its purpose in a symbol that people instantly recognize and are proud to fly. And the fact that it's not flown everywhere means that something needs to be changed. Um, don't you think that the penny farthing is uh, recognized enough in the city of Davis? Absolutely. Uh, the penny farthing is a great logo. And in no way are we trying to bash the penny farthing. Um, and the, the only difference is the, a logo and a flag are different things. Um, logos look great on pieces of paper, business cards, things that you're seeing real up close um, because they're intricate and um, you know, have lettering and you can read them beautifully. But uh, we, can't, uh, have, uh, we can't confuse a, a logo and the flag as the same thing. A flag is meant to be enjoyed 100 feet away from you, flapping in the wind. It's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be uh, well-designed and have lots of symbolism. If we institute just the penny farthing, although that's great symbolism and has great history within the city, unfortunately, that's just, a one, uh, just one symbol. And a great flag should have uh, many symbols. Mm -hmm. What are next steps moving on um, going forward? Um, moving on, uh, continuing to reach out to uh, organizations and people amongst the city. Uh, uh, next month we'll be on KDRT, and um, we're speaking with um, arts organizations, um, speaking with uh, local firefighters and EMTs to try and get, um, uh, you know, really our. Um, important um, workers behind it, and um, those are our steps to get, uh, or also speaking to um, our county supervisor to get uh, political support. So if we get um, you know, political and um, organizational support, it really shows legitimacy to the campaign. So that's what we're focusing on right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and finally, if viewers want to know more, if, they're, if they want to support you, if they're still reluctant, um, where can they go to find out more about your project? Um, so the uh, best place to find information is our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Our Davis Flag. We have lots of great pictures, videos on there, and we've also recently started a letter writing campaign to the city council. Um, city council wants to hear from the residents, so on there we have the sample letter you can check out. Um, edit it, uh, put in um, 
some words that uh, uh, why the flag uh, really means a lot to you, and then email it off to the city council to show your support. Thank you, Aiden, for joining us. Um, and thank you for joining us in the studio for today's episode. We'll see you next time.